Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine again. What's happening today? What's going on? Is everything cool? Is everything kushtibari? Okay, today I want to do a Nissan Skyline C210. Let's get this bad boy down. I've got my A4 paper, I've got my Uniball pen and my ruler, and let's just crack on. So I'm going to do first my pen outline. I mean, I could do some pencil, but I'm pretty confident with a pen. And then, um... Yeah, we're we'll going to pen, then Copix. We'll get the black shadows in first, then the Copix, then the pencil, then finish off with the post mark. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, I've just started off with a line here. This is going to be the front. I'm just doing a second line here. Just looking for some. One second, I just need to adjust this. Okay, let's get the second line down. And this is going to be the side light just on here. Okay. So I'm just doing these little sections here. How far is this? It's three centimeters. Let's bring this one across for three. Okay, now we can start with a grill. Okay, so I might do this grill a little bit bigger. So let's just do these grill lines in. Just notice I'm going across, I'm trying to avoid smudging it, so I'm moving my ruler to the left here. Okay, bring us round for the side. Okay, now let's do the lower part of the bumper, or the middle section, sorry. Okay, now the number plate is going to go in the center here. Ok, 
Okay, and then it's got some lights here. Okay, just zoom out a little bit. Right now for the lower section. Okay, so that's the lower section done. Then we'll consider this wheel arch in. Okay, so I've got the wheel edge, the sand sides building up now. Now I'm going to use my wee little French curve fellow for the bumper. That's a little. Okay, so let's get this long ruler on the go. And then I'll just move it into position to do the curve that I want. And this is about nine centimeters across. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just for a bit of perspective, and it gets smaller and smaller as it goes across. So let's keep this angle the same, just by trying to keep it there. So let's bring it to eight. There. And just moving it into position. Okay. Then let's bring this up. So it's going to be two and a half. Then let's find the same curve. Okay, so I'm just doing the side panel now, the side windows.
Okay, now I'm just in the rear wheel arch. Okay, now I'm just going to curl this round. Just trying to figure out the right curve, maybe I'll put a straight line going across. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. This is going to be the rear section. Okay, so that's the main side just about done. Let's get some details in there, like door handles. Let's finish off this side window. Okay, so just doing the sides. Okay, let's bring this wheel in. Okay, that's a little higher than I want it to be, so I'm going to bring this out a little bit down. Bring these wheels in. Doing the wheel rims now. Okay, I think I'll do. The windscreen's a little smaller than I want it to be. I think it'll work out. Okay, so now I've got those lines in, let's get a bit of black shadow in there, just to darken up some of these lines. So I'll go into time lapse for this, all I'm doing is just adding some black shadows in these lower sections. This is a thick permanent marker, just a cheap one, but it does a trick. I use cheap markers just because I go through quite a lot. And then likewise what I've done before, 
any like cluttered up edges I'll just clean up with a thin pen there we go
Okay guys, now I'm going to go into the Copic Marker colours. So I'm going to pick a blue and a purple for this. They all look nice. So, after this I'm just going to use uh, pencils. So let's have a go. I got some greys in there as well. So this is what I'm going to be using for my darker tones. Usually pick about three colours. No, and f I was going to do this purple, I'm actually just going to do these blue colours. So, for my lighter colour. And then go to another blue tone. Well, so I'm going to use those three different blue tones over this whole body, and then we'll see what happens. I'm not going to, like, these areas are going to be lighter, so I'm not filled those in just yet. I'll probably do that with pencil. But let's go with the Copic markers first. Copics, Touch 5s, markers, whatever you want. I don't. <clears throat> okay now guys you can see with the pencil layers created a really nice effect I did this uh, on the bonnet as well I just went with the biro I went with the first like light pencil layer the biro just flicking it up darkened it off with a bit of pencil then finished off the dark shadow with the black so that's created a nice effect I've gone over these other black areas with the fiber castell because that kind of smooths it out it's got a nice thick layer on top as you can see it's smoothed it out across the vehicle so now I'll break up some of that for some of the highlights, which I'll use for the Posca marker pen, because that sits on top of everything. So it's all it's all pre-planned out, like in the sense of what I can use with the mediums and stuff. Because I know the Posca marker can sit on top of there, and I, and I need a Copic marker to create a general layer and stuff. So yeah, it's look all together. So especially just on these lights, I'm just doing some vertical lines. Like 
so. And then to, con to make, I want to pull that black out a bit more here. So I'm going to put just a thin white line next to it. Time lapse for the rest of this. That's all I'll be doing. Use the post mark. I think that will probably be the last step, unless I find anything else that needs doing. So I want to create a nice soft edge here on this side. So I will break up some of these blacks a little bit.
<clears throat> okay guys, as you can see I've done the Posca Marker layer. It's created a nice effect of the, the lights and everything like that. I've created like a line going across. I've done these dots to kind of shine on the edge and make sure that I've curled it round where the shape is. I've kind of put loads on this edge to kind of cool down this area because this is very very solid lines this kind of cools it down but uh, yeah that looks pretty awesome I'm happy with that I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do but I think that might do it something's missing I'm not quite sure what I think that'll do for now. If I do miss anything, I'll, I'll add it maybe a bit later. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.